In this video, I will demonstrate the use of the functions conduit, ladder, and cable trunking, and also its accessories. Let's start with the use of the conduit. Uh, we find here in the Aleco toolbox the function conduit. In the flow path dialog, we see here the properties of the conduit. It could be flexible or plain. The difference is that the flexible do not quantify bands, so instead it quantifies as linear length, and also the, the plain conduit this quantifies the, the bands, okay? So I will use the flexible light. Uh, by clicking on the three dots button, we open the product database of conduits. We, I have selected a conduit of 25 millimeters and below we see here the start, start mounting height at 1.252, which is the top surface of the board in which I will start the conduit. So I'll click OK and move my cursor to the board. Now I will press page up to go to the new position at 3.2 meters and I move my cursor to stretch the segment and left click to insert bands. Okay. Now I'll press escape and we see knots, the black knots at the ends and at the bends, in which if I get closer it indicates that I can move this knot. If I go to the white to the white knot, we see the indication of insert knot. If I right mouse click, I have some options. One of them is to move parallel. So I can move up to any direction, like this. I can also insert junction box to this conduit. So I come to the function junction box and I insert one in the ceiling and uh, move this junction box close to the to the conduit segment and I will insert parallel to the junction box above. As you see, there is a message popping up uh, that indicates the conduit. So I left click and it's attached to the segment. I will do the same here. Okay. Now press escape to close the function. The nice thing about this uh, new junction box is that we can also connect it to cables. This will make much easier the work to connect to the whole system using the, the proper conduit that we can have multiple circuits running to it and also the, the use conduit for the cable. Okay, so I'll click here and I can connect at this connection and then I uh, use the ortho to, to go straight up and then I connect to the other junction box. Okay, so click here and click here and it's done. Let's see in 3D. So this is the connection and also coming from the board. Coming back to 2D, let's now start the use of the ladder function. I will start the ladder close to this board. A, a ladder could be, if I, uh, oh sorry, if I click on the three dots button here, we open the product database of ladders. On the, on the left, we see here that we have cable ladder, cable tray, mesh cable tray, vertical ladder, all the systems and user defined. For this example, we use this mesh cable tray. We have multiple sizes for, for the width of this, uh, for this mesh cable tray. I will start with 200 millimeters. And uh, the nice thing about this new cable ladder is that it could be vertical or horizontal. It starts vertically. If I right mouse click, I can rotate it 90 degrees. So to this side, I will rotate again and rotate again to go to the other side. Okay, I can move a little bit to stretch the segment, left click, and I will uh, use the, the hotkey page up to go up to a new position at 3.3 meters. From now on, I can start drawing vertically. I'm, I will stretch the segment, left click, go to the right, and then parallel to these light features on the right, I will left click and go over it. Okay. Uh, when I will press escape and we see the nodes, I can right mouse click and we see some options of accessories and fittings, such as the I can insert a T or insert a reducer. I will start by inserting a T. And then I, I see here this dialog of letter T or cross. We change here the T exit to, uh, to first side or other side or both sides to insert a cross section, uh, a cross 
piece as we see here in the preview picture. But uh, let's uh, first have as first side and the parameter B is for the, the branch. I will um, insert a reduction like 100 millimeters and click OK. Now we see here it's not to, to the direction I would like to have, but after I insert it, I can double click it and I can change the, the, the orientation. Now I will repeat the ladder function and draw from here to it crosses the light features. But um, I would like to insert a reducer now. So I click on the segment, right mouse click, and now come to insert reducer. This reducer should have the, the new entry or width as 100. Click OK, move here, and here it is. OK. We can move this reducer. And also, as we can see, there is eccentricity. If you don't want to have or change the, the side, I would like to have it centered. All right. Now, let's see the function cable trunking. Cable trunking, first I will show in uh, for, for, da for data. So I will start for wall mounted. OK, so uh, data trunking. If we, um, it already starts at 0.6, uh, it's, it's the default mounting height. At the, at the tab alignment, we can change the reference to input position. I will select the, to the left. So this I can easily draw while mounted like this. Okay. Um, all right. What I will do now, I want to use another type of, uh, of cable trunking, but for the floor. But first, I will insert the box. So I will come to this accessory below the cable trunking. And uh, I will open the product database at the filter on the floor trunking box. We don't see anything. Just click on the show more if it's the case. We see there, there is a box for the length of 190 uh, of the... Um, of the of the cable trunking. So I'll click OK. And uh, I will insert this box close to this board here. And to, to insert the, the other boxes, I will make use of arrow keys. So I'll use the arrow key up and I will make an offset of five meters and then to the right five meters. So we have three boxes. So we can now easily just activate the cable trunking again. I will use the hotkey Alt Enter to access the properties of the cable trunking to change the cable trunking from dado trunking to the few to to the category on the floor trunking and i will select the product of width 190 millimeters click ok click ok move closer you see there is a connection and you just have to go straight up to the next connection and it's done okay let's do it again and we saw all the the functions conduit ladder and cable trunking. Let's see the result in 3D. Okay, so in wireframe, we see the components uh, under the floor and also within the, the walls. If we use the, fun the, the render mode hidden lines, we see here the result quite nice here close to the, to the board. Okay, and here it is.